It's Noel, coming with another video. So, federal court found the CDC eviction ban unconstitutional and struck it down wholly across the entire country. You know, what does this really mean? That's a big question. You know, I'm hoping that the government, understanding that this was unconstitutional and that it would probably be struck down, has some kind of plan for all the evictions that are gonna happen. I think this is a big win for landlords. It's a huge loss for tenants that don't have a place to go. So I talk a lot about how I don't like the eviction moratorium, but on the same sense, there is a low-income housing problem in this country and you know with all the stimulus and all the government support that's coming out and the billions of dollars of rental assistance i think it needs to go into the section 8 program that is a established program to deploy rent assistance into the markets. The only problem with this program, Housing Choice Voucher Program, aka the Section 8 program, is contracted out in most markets to private companies that are very inefficient because of the status of their contracts. I've talked about this a few years back. The contract that they have, there aren't many success fees. It is just a flat fee contract and the operations of the Section 8 programs in many markets are not run efficiently. There is a lot of issues. I was reading today, a lot of states are taking a step backwards and allowing landlords to not accept Section 8 tenants if they don't want. I think that there's a lot of issues here going on, folks. So it'll be interesting to see what happens seeing if there's a path for the federal government to do something, if they're gonna to try to reestablish this eviction moratorium. But uh, what it will do is allow small landlords to sell their properties if they want. You know, Up until this point, they're kind of stuck. They're still gonna owe this forbearance money. Um, they're still gonna to have to spend the money, time and energy to evict the tenants. And we'll see you know, what happens with all of this. But, you know, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of faith that the federal government has even come up with any solutions to solve this problem. These are a lot of low wage workers that have jobs that are slowly coming back, if at all. You know, it used to be that we talk about how there's no manufacturing jobs in this country. And, you know, where did that low wage worker go? And they typically worked in the service industry. Well, some of those are coming back slowly, but some of those jobs in restaurants and hotels and retail that have closed forever, there's gonna be a lot of people that don't have a place to go and where are they gonna to move to? There's no step down for them. You know, not everybody can move in with their parents. So it'd be really interesting to see what happens with this. Just wanted to put out a video real quick on it. You know, we're only at the beginning of this. There's a huge housing shortage and that's not gonna go away. So let me know your thoughts. Love to hear it. Love to see if anybody else has any ideas on what's going to happen with this new court ruling coming down. Thanks, leave a comment, hope to hear from you soon.